to wine and watch my name is Ashley and today we're starting a new series we are going to be replacing um, the last of us with breaking bad so if you're interested in seeing my reactions to the last of us I will post the playlist on the screen now um, but if you you know want to join me as I take on this somewhat large journey of watching Breaking Bad. It's a few seasons, so that makes me nervous. Um, that's a big commitment, but we're gonna do it. I really hope I like it, because if not, then this is gonna be rough. Um, I've heard great things. Obviously, it's been out for a really long time. I hope that I enjoy it, and I hope that you enjoy my reactions to it. I don't really know too much about it. All I know is uh, I think it has to do with, like, drugs or something, maybe, like, cocaine. Um, I know, I think that the lead guy is, is, I don't know if he's, like, a professor or a scientist or something. He's smart, I think, and he gets involved in drugs. I don't know if he does the drugs or if he's selling the drugs. I don't really know, but that's that's about that's about all I know. Um, I could be wrong with a lot of what I just said because, like I said, I don't. I never watched it. A lot of my close family and friends, I don't think, have ever seen it. So it's not like I've had anyone who's a big fan who's encouraged me to watch it. I think that's probably a big reason why I have not watched it thus far. Um, but yeah, I hear incredible things like online about it so hopefully I'll like it we'll see um please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content that I post um a good majority of you who watch my videos are not subscribed about like 88 percent of you who watch my videos are not subscribed so please subscribe to the channel and um we're also going to be starting the series the boys soon that should be I think maybe the next video that I post. Um, so yeah, I guess let's get into it. What? This man has no no clothes on. He's got his tidy whities on. And a gas mask. <gasps> oh, okay, I thought it was a cliff. Well, that's one way to stop, right? Those are sirens. They're coming. I don't know what you did, but I can just tell from the vibe that you gotta go. And is your friend okay? Is he even alive? Why were you naked? I'm really confused. Oh, didn't even see that guy there. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if, are you gonna be able to get away from the cops? I don't think so. They're coming and you don't have pants on. You stand out a little bit. What is going on? Not the tidy whities Is he gonna shoot the police? I feel like that's, gonna cause more problems for you, sir. Three weeks earlier, all right. How'd they feel to be old? How does it feel to be a smart ass? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Teach you busy, baby. Chemistry. It is the study So he's a chemistry what? teacher. Change their energy levels, molecules. So molecules change their bonds. Elements. I don't know, guys. I was terrible. Compounds. At chemistry in high school. It involves a lot of math. And I was never good at math. English is my subject. And history. I don't know. I feel those kids. Chemistry was just rough. That was literally how my chemistry class was. Everyone was just quiet. It was like... The teacher was just talking to himself the whole time. Does he also work at a car wash? 
It's so sad, though. Like, you have a full-time job as a teacher and can't even pay teachers coming. enough money to make a living. So why? Make those tires shine, huh? Oh my god. That's fucked up. That's so sad. He's 50 and they're having another kid? Why are we playing with guns in the living room? Come on, tank it. No, no, it's just heavy. That's why they hire men. Not gonna bite you, all right? Looks like Keith Richards with a glass of warm milk. Man. All right, it's his birthday. Why are you guys being dickheads? Listen up. Listen up. I'm gonna give a little toast. A little toast to my brother-in-law. Come here. Oh. Uh, well, you got a brain the size of Wisconsin. We're not gonna hold that against you. His wife's brother. Your heart's in the right place, man. Your heart's in the right place. We love you, man. We love you. Everybody, to Wall, to Strovia. He did not just take his beer. Oh shit, turn on channel three. At which point we apprehended three individuals and placed them in custody. Uh, I'm trying to say the outstanding professionalism of my fellow agents at the other DEA. Uh, wow. Well organized. Hey, how much money is that? Uh, it's about seven hundred grand. Pretty good haul. As I say, that is a lot of money. We can put this big dent in the but that's unusual, isn't that kind of cash? Hmm? Most people don't. It's easy money until we catch you. <laughs> well, I'll just say the word and I'll uh, take you on a ride along. You can watch us knock down a meth lab. Get a little excitement in your life. <laughs> yeah, something. What is the deal with this cough? You collapsed, sir. I don't have the greatest insurance. Take a couple of deep breaths, folks. I feel it, buddy. I had to take an ambulance ride once, and it <laughs> cost a lot of money. Mr. White, are you a smoker? No. Never. Why do you ask? Because something's not right. Does he have, like, cancer or something? You understood what I just said to you? No. I didn't. Inoperable. I'm sorry. I just need to make sure you fully understand. Oh my gosh. Best case scenario with chemo, I'll live maybe another couple of years. Yeah, let me look into that. Okay. Thank you. So they're struggling financially. So, how was your day? Really bad. Oh, yeah. My guy, no. Oh, how crappy. And here he is still working his two jobs. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, I feel really bad for him. Come on, man. I'm short handed. I need you outside to do stuff like that. Come on. No, fuck that. I said I need you outside to do some white down. Quit. Are you here to work or to be staring at the sky? Come on, let's go. Just leave. You you might die soon Fuck. anyway. You might as well just leave. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck Enjoy you. your last. Fuck you. Angry rounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, hey, if you were just told you don't have that much time to live, might as well, right? Uh, Hank. Hank, it's Wolf. Hey. Oh, listen, uh, I didn't wake you today. Oh, good, good. Oh, no, no, nothing's wrong. I, I just, uh, I've been uh, thinking about that offer, like, like right along. Mm -hmm. Slash house on the right. Meth Labs are nasty on a good day. You mix that shit wrong, you got uh, mustard gas. Austin gas. I think. Yeah, exactly. One month to kill you. That's why the respirator. Mm. 
That must have been why he was wearing that mask in that first scene. I'm assuming he ends up going this route. God, that place is filthy. Hey. You think I might get to go inside? See the actual lab? Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We're going to go peek our heads in. Check it out first. Stay here a minute. They're so sketchy. If they were really cops, that is so sketchy. naked woman oh so he knows him so he was the guy that they're looking for for the meth or whatever why are you here i was because he wants to get into the drug business honestly i know Emilio was going to prison yeah the dea took all your money your lab you got nothing Square one. But you know the business. And I know the chemistry. This I'm seems so sketch. Maybe you and I could partner up. <laughs> he said, what? You, uh, you want to cook crystal meth? You. You and, uh, and me. Either that, or I turn you in. Oh! Wow. You got no choice, bud. I'm guessing that he's doing all this. Oh, shit. That he's doing all this to get money for his wife and for the baby for if he does end up dying, that they'll be kind of set up. That's what I'm assuming. You and I make garbage we will produce a chemically pure and stable product that performs as advertised no adulterants no baby formula no chili pie. no no chili peas my signature not anymore wow he wants yeah, good we'll quality stop. meth <laughs> what the hell is this lab safety equipment we're also going to have an emergency eye wash station <laughs> these cameras i mean smart it smart should be done so we're going to cook here no we're not going to cook here Hey, this is my house. I don't shit where I eat. Smart. Then where are we going to work? You tell me. This is your deal, man. You want to smoke it up? Smoke it up at your house. Nah, I didn't think so. Oh, well. RV. That's what you want. What, like a Winnebago? Okay. Buy the RV. We start tomorrow. Are you sure you don't want to get the, like, a different kind? <laughs> like, a. Uh... You know, the skinny jeans, because those are really supposed to be in style now. The skaters wear them. Do I look like a skater? All right. Oh, that's nothing for me. That's yeah. so... You're probably nothing for me. You're fucked up. <laughs> Go say something. <laughs> Walt. Go say something. Put them in their place. No, no, don't even look at them. They're obviously very stupid. That, among other things. I think that, um, I think those jeans look really good. I think you should get them if you like them, okay? You know what? Why don't you just hang out here for a second? I'll be right back. No. Yeah, go say something, Mom, please. I think I pinched a loaf in my brand new big boy pants. What's wrong, Chief? Having a little trouble walking? Get off me! Get off me! I'll mess you up, man. Well, you'll have one shot. You better make it good. What are you waiting for your girlfriends? You better go. You better go. Take it. Take a shot. Take it. Come on. Come on. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, 
God. Psycho. Little bitch. Good for him. Way to stick up for his son. Not him getting undressed and he's gonna be like, what? senior chemistry teacher in his tidy whities I wonder if this is accurate. Oh, gosh. Because for them to just teach people how to make meth from a TV show, that seems kind of dangerous. <laughs> so I'm curious if this is accurate or not. This is scary. You got... Jesus, you got crystals in here two inches, three inches long. Oh, so that's, that's this is it? Pure glass. You're a goddamn artist. He was trying to tell this, you. This is art, Mr. White. It's not art. Actually, it's, it's just chemistry. basic chemistry, but thank you, Jesse. I'm glad it's acceptable. It's acceptable? You're the goddamn iron chef. Every chip head from here to Timbuktu is going to want to taste. No, I got to try this. <gasps> no. Go. Only so you don't. Yeah. Okay, since when? Because you've been watching way too much Miami Vice. That ain't happening. That's the smart thing to do. What are you talking about? So, what now? You never get high off your own stash. How do we proceed? I'm selling. Tell me that ain't the finest scante you ever laid eyes on. That's crazy. Go ahead. Try it. Hey, Pucci. How you doing? Why would he do that? You saw how aggressive the yeah. dog was. Booyah. See what I say. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right? Yeah, it's all right. So what? Back in business. Hell yeah, I'm back. With a vengeance. Battle local gotta make a living. You know, with your cousin got away and all and listen, Holmes, about that. Really broke me up about Emilio. That dude is like my brother. You okay? You talk to him? Yeah, yeah, I talked to him. And when the feds came, you were out sticking it in some neighbor lady. I you know. I got lucky twice. I don't know, man. Emilio. He thinks maybe you dined on him. Oh, hey, hey, that is bullshit. That's bullshit, crazy, eh? No, I should kick his punk ass for even thinking that. You know what, next time you talk to Emilio, you tell him for me, all right? Don't tell me he's coming down. Did you tell him yourself? Made bail this morning? Go ahead, Vendejo. Kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, well, this isn't going well. Okay, so this is how we ended up in the tidy whities Because he probably brought them to him and they had to fight. Oh, no, this isn't good. Not you and your tidy whities Hey, man. See some kind of newness? Yeah, that's some stone fine tick tick you've been cooking there, I said. How about you come work for me? I'd be willing to sell it to you. If the price is right. I 
out here all by yourself, huh? This is not good that they know where you are. Hey, I know you. You said when I got busted, he's with the DA. No. You got the six, motherfucker. Run, you oh, boy, run. fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you gonna cook up that batch? You're an artist. It's chemistry! Banshee. Wait. Oh! Wait a minute. Listen to me, Hawk. I'll teach you my recipe. Huh? What do you say? You wanna cook like me? Let us both live. And I will teach you. Huh? This is no good. You shouldn't be smoking in there. That's gonna start a forest fire. Is he gonna teach them the wrong thing? To somehow get out of this little sitch? out from the smell, right? <laughs> that idiot put a, threw a fucking lid cigarette out there. That's not gonna, okay, let's not be a dumbass here. That's not gonna put out that whole thing. Here we go from the beginning. And they just got this RV. They just started their journey and already no good, ruined. Oh, it's for the fire. Are those guys dead? Because then you guys got two bodies on your hands. Wow. All right. Well, first episode, I definitely will say that it's interesting. I'm very interested to see what happens. Um, I can already tell, though, there's a lot that, like, I don't, I'm, I don't know much about hardcore drugs like this. Um... I am, yeah, I, I'm i not familiar, so, I think I said at the beginning, like, cocaine, I don't even know if you can, like, make cocaine, I don't know, I don't know anything, but, um, I didn't realize it was meth, which, in my head, I think meth's a little worse than cocaine, but again, I don't know, um, 
so okay i'm excited to continue on um i'm curious though if the meth that they made that one batch if that was ruined because it was also in the rv yeah i don't know if they're like starting from scratch again they probably have to get another rv or something to make another lab or whatever i'm curious if those two guys died i'm curious how they clean up that mess that seems like a big situation to be involved in this is very interesting to watch i'm glad i've never been any involved in anything like this because this just seems so stressful i would be so scared i no okay well um okay i so far i'm intrigued i'm excited to you know find out more to watch more um i think walt and you know what i actually don't remember the kid's name the the one that he used to be a student that he's working with but walt to me I find is an interesting character he seemed like he was not doing that great even prior to his cancer diagnosis like he was kind of just like living in the motions of life just like doing it struggling you know to make ends meet just going through the motions of life and then once he got that cancer diagnosis it really like sparked something in him to be like screw it like I gotta do what I gotta do and I mean, he did this to make money, I'm assuming, for his family for if he dies so that they can be taken care of. And then he kind of went crazy on those guys at that store that were making fun of his son, which I was on board with. I think prior to his cancer diagnosis, he probably wouldn't have reacted or done the same thing that he did there, at least not so aggressively. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting to see his his character and like what he's gonna I haven't like figured him out yet but I can tell that I I think I'm gonna be a fan of his character he's very multi-dimensional it's starting to seem like um yeah okay so cool uh we're gonna continue on so far so good and yeah uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments no spoilers though no spoilers um, and I'll be putting out an episode of The Boys soon. I'm also going to be starting Harry Potter soon, I think. I don't know if I'm going to be finishing the Matrix franchise. Um, I hate to say it. I It's okay. I'm not a huge fan. It has its moments, but I don't have a strong desire to finish it and... It seems like I don't have a lot of you who are like really interested in me finishing it. So I think I'm just going to move on. Let me know if I'm wrong. If you really want me to finish it, I guess I will. But I think, yeah, I'm just going to jump in and start Harry Potter. So let me know your thoughts on that. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me on Wine and Watch. Please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content. And we will see you next time. Bye.